everybody happy summer holidays i am so excited the summer has finally arrived school's out and finally we can have some fun i know it's been a tough year this year and everybody has been so 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 amazing and has worked so well and coped with the change i just wanted to give you all a massive shout out and say well done you really deserve this amazing break now and I just want to say thank you to all my listeners and my viewers that you have really helped me get through this. That you watching my channel all the time, you liking all my videos, you helping me because lockdown wouldn't be so fun if I didn't have this YouTube channel. And it has been so fun to see this channel grow and have loads of fun reading all your favourite books. So thank you so much everybody at home. It has been such a joy. Now over the summer holidays... We're going to have loads of fun and I'm still going to read a story every day because I love it and I just think it is amazing. So we're going to be reading The World's Worst Children. So this is number one, there's another one, number two, and there's number number, number three. So if you guys love these books, then we're going to be reading them like the whole summer and it's going to be so, so fun. And I am so excited to read them because they are so funny and so amazing and really really well written so these books are by david williams and they're illustrated by tony ross and david williams has written loads of amazing children's books so i will be reading a few pages a day now this is what they look like there's not many pictures and i'm not going to hold it up like that because it's quite a heavy book so what i will do is i will read a few pages as um you say and i'll be reading it like this and then any pictures there are i'll just put them on the screen so let's read this i'm so excited okay. right the first one first child dribbling drew once upon a time, there was a boy named Drew. Drew dribbled a lot. This wasn't just normal, everyday dribbling. The odd gulp or gob gloop running down your chin. Oh no, this was dribbling on a whole industrial scale. Here was a boy who could dribble litre upon litre of dribble a day. Now, you may wonder why Dribbling Drew dribbled so much. Well, it was because he was incredibly lazy. If he could sleep 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, he would. And as Drew snoozed, he drooled. Zzz, lop. Lop went the drew as it landed on the floor. On school mornings, the boy would have to be dragged out of his bed. If he had it his way, Drew would be wheeled to school every morning in his bed, and as soon as he arrived at school, he would get straight back to sleep. And zzz, boop, zzz, Drew liked nothing more than having a nice long snooze during lessons. He had been known to take sleeping bag into school. That's why he could doze through every single subject. P was hard. One P was a hard one to sleep through. But Drew found a way, for example. During football matches he would ask to be in goal and then climb up on the net and have a nap. If any kids scored a goal, he would moan if they celebrated too loudly and it would wake them up. Because Drew slept through every single lesson, he always found himself at the bottom of the class. When Drew snoozed in lessons, he would dribble all over his desk. Zzz, blop, zzz, blop, zzz, blop. The dribble would trickle down to the floor where a large puddle of drool would collect. If the lesson was dreaded and double history, the dribble would end up something like a swimming pool. No one quite knew what was in Drew's dribble. It was transparent like water, but thick and sticky like glue. Okay. Right. 
So, to Drew, there are a lot of pages. So, that's quite a few pages, as you can see. That many pages. And if I did read, like, all of that, I'd be here for 20 minutes and you would be very bored. So, that's why I'm just going to read a few pages a day. And so, yeah. Come back tomorrow to find out more about Dribbling Drew. Anyway, bye guys!